you're concerned about the future of your organization when you step down, then where will the mantle fall? A biblical and legal guide to succession planning is a must read for you. It delves into the scriptural and legal aspect of succession planning, characteristics of successors, the people, the process, church bylaws, common myths, even issues with nepotism. Where will the mantle fall? Written by Rich Mazzone attorney, Pastor Travel Travis and available at Amazon.com. 2021? Do you need help forming an LLC, applying for a copyright or trademark, revising church bylaws, crafting a succession plan, or developing a compensation package for your pastor and staff? Contact the law office of Travel Travis, a Richmond-based legal boutique focused on the needs of pastors, entrepreneurs, creatives, and our community. Let's make your vision a reality in 2021. Visit TravelTravis.com. That's T-R-A-V-E. Oh, yes! Hallelujah! That's what he's done. Hallelujah. That's what he's done. Hallelujah. How great is our God, right? How great is the God that we serve, the God of our salvation, the God that heals, the God that delivers, the God that sets free. How great is he? Hallelujah. And we invite you to help us lift up our great God. He's not just my great God. He's our great God. Hallelujah. Let's just dwell in his presence and put our minds on our great God. Hallelujah. How great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, oh we'll see how great, how great is our God, how great is our God, how great is our God, sing with me, sing with me, how great is our God, is our God. oh we'll see oh, how great. How great is our God? How great is our God? How great is our God? Sing with me, how great is our God? Oh, we'll see, oh, we'll see how great, how great is our God. Your name is above all. He's a 
great God. Great, 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 he's a great God. Great, 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 he's a great God. Hallelujah. Oh, for he is so worthy. Here we are to worship. Here we are to bow down. Here we are to say that he's our God, altogether lovely, altogether worthy, altogether wonderful to all of us. Amen. Hallelujah. And we praise him for being lovely, worthy, and wonderful. Hallelujah. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy. All together wonderful to me. Here I am to worship. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow Here down. I am to bow Here I am down. to say that Here you're my God. I am to say that you're my God. You're my Together, love, all together, worthy, all together, wonderful, together, wonderful to me. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow. Just to see my 
rugged cross. Saying, I'll never know. I'll never know how much it costs. Just to see my sins upon the cross. So here I am to worship. Worship. Here I, here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together, all together lovely. All together worthy. All together wonderful. To me, one more time we sing. How I'll never know how much it costs to see my sins upon that cross. Sing, I'll never know, I'll never how know. much it costs. My sins my upon the cross. Upon that Can we sing that together? Cross. I'll never know. I'll never know how much it costs to see every one of my sins. To see, my to see them upon the cross. Upon that oh, cross. I'll never know. Now, I just want you to think in your mind, hallelujah, of every sin that you've ever committed, hallelujah, and even the sins that we may commit the days after. And just think about our Savior upon the cross, dying for every last one of them, hallelujah, so that we can have redemption back to the Father, hallelujah. No one could have done it but Him, hallelujah, to save His life for a friend. We thank our God for saving, for taking his own life just to save us. Hallelujah. And now I just pray, hallelujah, that you allow the words to minister to your spirit. Right now, hallelujah. And I pray as the man of God comes forth, hallelujah, you allow the words that he says to minister to your spirits. Hallelujah. Just think back over everything God has brought you out of. Everything that he's still taking you through. And we're just going to bless him for it in advance. Hallelujah. We're going to bless him and praise him for the past experiences. Hallelujah. That don't do nothing to y'all. Just, just to imagine our sins being upon our Savior. Hallelujah. Being lashed. Lashed. They lashed him. They beat him. They hung him to a cross just for us. And he died for us. But then he got up. Hallelujah. He died, but then he resurrected himself. And we thank him, hallelujah, for dying. But then again, being resurrected for the sake of us. For the, he did it for us, hallelujah. He did it for you. He did it for me. And I'm grateful that he did it, hallelujah. So I'll never sit down on my God. I can never come to his place and not reverence him and not give him worship and not give him praise because he is deserving of it all. Hallelujah. Uh, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. He will exalt you in due time. And so uh, I believe all of us have learned in this season, amen, to depend on God. In an even, in an even greater way, and uh, life, and I'm gonna talk about this today, can be very unpredictable. Amen. Sometimes we get used to a certain life, and we think everything is just gonna continue like it is. But you never know. 
from one day to the next what is going to happen and I want to talk about a character today in Job chapter number 23 that under stands about the unpredictability of life because he went through unpredictable situations and his faith was challenged his life was changed and he learned that when he can't depend on anybody, even friends, so-called friends, <laughs> amen, that uh, were supposed to encourage him. But have you ever left somebody and you felt more discouraged after you left than when you got there? gonna take me out to encourage me I shouldn't leave more discouraged than when I got there but we know he had three friends that so-called friends that really uh, were questioning him and his faith in God uh, must be something wrong with you you know sometime when things happen uh, some people may say there's something wrong with you or maybe you don't have any faith uh, but sometimes that's not the case uh, even Jesus one time was dealing with a blind man and they kind of had that concept in the Old Testament because if you were cursed then sometimes uh, things would happen to you or affect your children. And so uh, they just believed that if something was wrong with you, uh, it was because there was something wrong with you and your relationship with God. If your children have uh, ailments or physical challenges, it must be because you're cursed. And so they said to Jesus, who has sinned? This man or his parents? That he was born blind because it was the assumption that if the child is born blind, somebody did something along the way that caused this. But Jesus debunked that theory because he said this is not about sin. But this was done so that God could get the glory. And how many know God can get glory even out of bad stuff? Somebody ought to clap your hands because you know you're going through something right now. Hallelujah. I believe even what we've been through these last couple of years, even pandemic, uh, somehow God can get the glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. Even out of this, nothing bad uh, that cannot get, that God cannot turn around for good because he said all things. Somebody shout hallelujah. Even bad things, ugly things and crazy things, all things work together for good to them that love God and are called. Anybody been called by God? Oh yeah, because you wouldn't made it in this room today. If God wasn't calling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, well, I know I was raised in church. So that, there's a whole lot of people that were raised in church that weren't thinking about God today. As soon as they got grown, you ain't seen them sin. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, I remember 
Uh, when I was a young man, I said, oh, when I get grown, I'm just going to never come back to church. I'm just going to. Hallelujah. Uh, but God had another plan. Aren't you glad about it? Hallelujah. And so he's called us. Called us uh, unto salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And that's why we're here this morning. In Job chapter number 23. Uh, let's start at verse number 8, Job 23, and verse number 8. Job declares, Behold, I go forward, but he is not there. Backward, but I cannot perceive him on the left hand where he doth work but I cannot behold him he hideth himself on the right hand that I cannot see him but he knoweth the way that I take. When he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. My foot has held his steps. His way have I kept and not declined. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. Can the church say amen? amen. But he knoweth the way that I take. When he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. He knoweth. Aren't you glad to know that God knows? Uh, hallelujah. I'm going to release somebody today. You don't have to know because God knows. And I just want to encourage somebody this morning that God has it all figured out. Somebody just say that. Just say, Lord, you got it all figured out. Hallelujah. Uh, we used to sing a song while I'm trying to figure it out. God is already working it out. Thank you, Jesus. He's figured out what we can't figure out. Have you ever tried to figure your life out? You're trying to sit there and think what am I going to do how am I going to do it how is this going to work out you ever sit down and try to budget and figure out your bills I wish I had three people that could uh, relate with me trying to uh, trying to rob Peter to pay Paul and pull here and Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Try to put this fire out and then go put this other one out. And hallelujah. We're trying to figure things out. Trying to work it out. Sometimes we can get frustrated because it seems like we can't figure it out. We don't know how it's going to work out. We, we're trying to make sense of it, but it's, it's, it's giving us a headache because we can't make any sense out of it. 
Hallelujah. And this is where faith comes in because God is challenging us to trust him even when we can't figure it out. Even when we can't see how it's going to work out. Have you ever said, oh, just to be a child again? Oh, don't have to worry about how the food is going to get in the house. It just shows up. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Bishop took his family this week, his children. I met the youngest one when I was here last time. Now, when they went on their trip this week, he didn't ask the children or the uh, especially the youngest one. How are we going to get there? Uh, then when we get there, what are we going to do? All they, all they had to do was get in the car. And if something wasn't right, they'd look at daddy. What's going on? <laughs> I remember when I first started traveling as uh, as an evangelist, I'm going to age myself here because the young people don't know anything about this, but uh, when I first started traveling, I would go into AAA, and they would map out where I was going. Uh, I know you're all not going to admit it, so I understand. Leave me by myself. We AAA used to do more than just come see about you. If you had a flat tire, they would map out. They would tell you if there was any construction going on. She'd highlight it. Let you know the easiest route. And it was all good until you got a little off track. <laughs> and I had to get the map <laughs> Oh, yeah, now all you got to do is talk to your phone. Say, this is where I'm trying to go. And Siri got it all figured out. So much so that if you took a wrong turn, she'll start talking to you. Hallelujah. I love it because she let me know there's a, 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 a red light camera coming up. There's a speed check coming. That means there's a cop somewhere. She let me know what's going on. Hallelujah. She got it all figured out. You don't have to stress. All you got to do is listen. Lord have mercy. There's a message right there. Huh? Somebody say, Lord, help me listen. The only way you can miss it is to not listen. The only way you can get lost is to not listen. Because it's already worked out for you. All you got to do is follow the instruction. Hallelujah. A theologians talk about this concept of God called God's sovereignty. His characteristic is that he is sovereign which basically means he can do whatever he wants to do whenever he wants to do it. That God is ultimately in control. There's some mystery to that, a, a dash of misunderstanding in that because we don't understand all that that entails. In fact, the scripture tells us we'll never understand. It says his ways are past. His ways are not our ways. His ways are past finding out. 
the most spiritual one, the most astute theologian, uh, still does not understand everything about God. There's some mystery to God. There's, there's, there's a side of God that uh, we'll never figure out, definitely not in this life. We'll, we'll never understand. That's why they told us you'll understand it better. Ooh, somebody shout hallelujah. Uh, by and by. You, you don't understand why certain things happen. You, you, you don't understand why you're challenged with certain things. You, you, you don't understand. Amen. I know I've had this challenge uh, in life before. Don't understand why it seemed like God answered one prayer and then uh, this other person seemed like they had to go through. I, I don't understand why we had to lose this one and why this one gets to stay. We don't understand e everything about God. We don't understand everything that happens. And so the challenge is even when you don't understand it, Say, Lord, I still trust you anyhow. Somebody shout hallelujah. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Not lean to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall uh, direct your path. Don't always understand. Uh, I've, I've had to say, now, Lord, uh, 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 you took this one. And this one was nice. This one was precious. And uh, this other one you healed. And... Uh, I just don't understand. Hallelujah. Oh, I know you've never been that honest before. I understand. Hallelujah. I just don't understand. Uh, amen. Why it had to be uh, this way. Don't understand. Hallelujah. And it's not always because uh, 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 they did something wrong. That's what uh, the accusation was on Job. You must have done something wrong. It must be you don't have any faith. It's not always that you've done something wrong. Sometimes it's because you've done something something right uh, that you got to face certain things it's, it's not always because of sin sometimes it's because of righteousness it's, it's not always because you've turned your back on God sometimes it's because you're getting closer to God hallelujah uh, thank you Jesus uh, hallelujah that's why even God was bragging on Job it was not Satan that mentioned it to God it was God that mentioned Job to Satan have you considered my servant Job? There's none like him in the earth. No, it wasn't uh, because of his sin. The, God said he's a perfect man. He's a uh, one that eschews God and fears evil. Yes, I have considered him. Satan said, I've already considered him. Hallelujah. But hallelujah, when I went to get him, I couldn't touch him. Aren't you glad to know, hallelujah, that Satan can just do whatever he wants to do whenever he wants to do it. Hallelujah. He said, I tried, but you got a head all around him. Hallelujah. Somebody shall thank God for the hedge. I, I got a hedge of protection. Hallelujah around me. Thank you Jesus. So when the devil comes knocking on my door, he can't just come in unless God gives him a permit. Lord, Thank you, Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. You know, if you want to do something, if you want to build something, if you want to expand, you've got to go downtown and get a permit. You can't, even when you own property and pay taxes, isn't that something? You still don't have rights to do whatever you want. You've got to have permission. Hallelujah. you got to have a permit. Uh, hallelujah. they got to come check it out. And then uh, when you get the permit, they're still going to tell you what you can do and what you can't do and how you're going to, they're still out in control. 
Even with all the money you're paying, they're still in control. And I got news for the devil this morning. God is still in control. Lord have mercy. He's omnipotent. He's omnipresent. He's omniscient. He's all-knowing. He's all-powerful. He's still in control of all things. There's nothing that catches him off guard. Nothing catches him by surprise. I want to tell somebody in your home this morning. God is still in control. Don't get frustrated. Uh, don't quit. Don't throw in the towel. Don't lose your mind. Don't lose your temper. God is in control. Somebody shout hallelujah. Uh, he's still in control. Uh, I know you might have a whole lot going on in your life. Uh, you're being challenged. You're being troubled. Paul said on every side. Uh, but God was still in control. Uh, hallelujah. Job lost everything. Uh, you know the story in Job chapter 1. Uh, lost all of his children. Uh, hallelujah. That he'd been praying for. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us he made sacrifice sacrifice for them. He was praying for them and still lost them anyhow. Have you ever prayed for something and you still lost it anyhow? Hallelujah prayed for his children. Hallelujah still lost them. Lost all of his money. Lost everything he had. Watch this. In one day came to him and told him he lost uh, his children. Uh, uh, then they came back and told him he lost all of his cattle, uh, uh, which at that day was the money, was the supply. Uh, uh, so to, in today's terms, it would be like your bank account being wiped out, uh, losing all that you had. Uh, hallelujah. They kept coming to him with bad news after bad news. Uh, have you ever had a day where you said, I'm not going to answer the phone no more because every, every call... Uh, Hallelujah, bad news after bad news. Uh, hallelujah, one thing after the other. Uh, hallelujah, just tired of bad news. Uh, but guess what? Even when Job lost everything that he had, uh, God was still in control. Uh, oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Uh, you might have lost some things on today. Uh, might have lost your job. Uh, might have lost some loved ones. I may feel like you lost, you're losing that life. Lost what I thought that I had. But God is still in control even in a losing season. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I lost some friends, but God is still in control. I lost even what I love, but God is still in control. Even when it seemed like you can't find God, he's still in control. He said, I'm looking for him. I look to the left. I've always felt his presence, but it seemed like I can't feel him now. I look where I know he works and I still can't find him. Hallelujah. I'm looking for my help and I can't find it. I can't perceive him. I don't know what's going on. Sometimes you may be in a situation. You may be in a circumstance. You may be in a valley where you you're looking for God and it seems like you can't find him. I can't feel him like I used to feel him. I don't know what is going on, but I came to tell somebody. He said, God, not only when you're on the mountaintop, but he's still God down in the valley. He's not only God when you can feel the Holy Ghost and you're all caught up in the spirit and you're speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God give the utterance. But he's still God. Even when you can't feel him. He's still God. Even when you feel like you can't pray. He's still God. Even 
though you're in a tough situation, he's still God, even when you're in the fight of your life. And because he's still God, I'm still going to call on him. I'm still going to call him God. I'm still going to call him sovereign. I'm still going to call him Lord, because I know he's got everything in his hand somebody shout hallelujah and he says this affirmation of faith that even when I can't see him even when I don't know what's going on I'm looking but I don't know where he is but he said God knows I look at somebody tell him God knows I can't see him but I know he knows I don't know where he is but I know he knows I don't know what's going on but I know he knows. I don't know why I lost what I wanted, but I know he knows. God knows the way that I take. He knows what's going on. He knew He knew before I knew. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. He knew the bad news was coming before I knew. He knew the pandemic was coming before we knew. He already declared the end from the beginning. He knows exactly what's going on. He knows what time it is. And he already has a timetable for you to come out of what you're going through. He already has it all worked out. He already has it all under control. He's just waiting on the right time. He's just waiting for you to get what you need. He's just waiting for your faith to come up. He's just waiting for you to get to the place that you say, Lord, no matter what, I'm not even going to stress no more. That's what I told God this week. I'm not even going to stress about it no more. I'm tired of thinking about it. So I'm just going to leave it in your hands and trust you. Because I know you already figured it out. I don't have to figure it out. Because you already did. And he said tomorrow is going to take care of itself and how do you know it will cause how many tomorrows have you already lived through that you didn't know how you was gonna make it but just like you made it through all of them you gonna make it through your tomorrow you gonna make it through this week you gonna make it through March you gonna make it through 2022 and when it's all over all you going to be able to say look what the Lord I'm getting too happy I'm going to let you go look what the Lord has done I didn't know how I was going to pay my bills but all your bills are going to be paid in full you didn't know how you was going to get through the storm but God is bringing you through you're coming out on the winning side thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph he always gets us over he always gets us through it Cause victory is already mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not turning back. I'm not giving up. I'm not throwing in the towel. I'm going to trust in the Lord until I die. If I die, let me die in the army of the Lord one way or the other I know everything is gonna be all right why should I worry why should I stress why should I be depressed when he's got it all figured out he's got Monday 
worked out. He's got Mart worked out. April, May, even June, July through December. It's already. Look at somebody tell him he's worked it all out. He's worked it all out. Every detail is already worked out. Every bill is already worked out. Every day is already worked out. So this is the day that the Lord has made. I will not be sad, not be mad, but I will be glad and rejoice. Somebody rejoice right now. Somebody rejoice in your home and say, I'm still going to praise him. Maybe sick in my body, but I'm still going to praise him. Troubled in my home, but I'm still going to praise him. Trouble on my job, might have lost my job, but I'm still going to praise him. You haven't lost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Before I get out of here, I gotta tell you that you haven't lost anything that God hasn't already figured out how you gonna get it back double for all your trouble we know how Job ended the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before he knoweth he knoweth the way that you take and win he has tried me I shall come forth as pure gold I'm coming out better than when I went in I'm coming out with more than I ever had I'm coming out with So look at somebody, just ask them, why are you worried about anything? I don't have to think about how we gonna get there. Hey, hallelujah. All I gotta do is like the children go along for the ride. <laughs> Every now and then I do like the children do. Are we there yet? Lord, I'm tired of this ride. Are we there yet? And he'll say, hold on. A little while longer. We're almost. I dare somebody to praise him because you're almost there. Praise him in your home because you're almost there. Praise him on your job because you're almost there. Praise him where you are because the promotion is with. Praise him. Because trouble's getting ready to get out of your home. Praise him. Hold on. Your help. is on the way I'm looking to the hills from whence coming my help all of my help is coming not from your boss not from your friend but it's coming from the Lord. Look at somebody tell me he's already worked it out. He's already worked it out. Praise him in advance. Shout in advance. Dance in advance. Cause he's already. He knoweth the way. 
Somebody shout, he know. <laughs> you ain't gotta know because he knows. And have you ever had a backseat driver? They're not driving. They don't want to drive, but they want to tell you. I knew I had one witness. He don't tell you, slow down, speed up. Where you going? Do you want to drive? No, I can't see very well. Then sit there. Next time, you just tell him he know. <laughs> Hallelujah. All you got to do is go along for the ride. Because God knows. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> All you got to do is trust him. <laughs> because God knows. <laughs> it don't matter what the doctor said. God knows. <laughs> it don't matter <laughs> what the boss said. God knows. <laughs> it don't matter what they said. God. Somebody shout he know. For knowledge. He knew it before it ever happened. So how are you not going to trust him? Hallelujah. He knows. God, it all worked out. Already been in tomorrow. That's why he said, don't even worry about tomorrow. Take no thought because tomorrow will take care of itself. So many people, I'm done, live with worry, stress, frustration. Some of you, your stress is your best friend. Stays with you all day. Sleeps with you all night long. Stressed out. Hallelujah. Stressed to the max. Let everything worry you and bother you. But today the challenge is... You're going to keep living like that through this pandemic. I don't mind testifying, telling on myself. I have been stressed. It has been stressful for everything to change like it did. It was even affecting my physical health. I went to the doctor. He said, your blood pressure keeps skyrocketing. It's high blood pressure. And I said, well, what can cause it? He said, uh, your diet, number one. Help me, Lord. Then he said, watch this stressful situation and stressful people. I, I just helped somebody. You know, you're not kicking your husband out, your wife out, but God's going to help you. Somebody just said, I heard you. The preachers know, the preacher said, God is going to help you. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said, come back in a couple of weeks. Come back. I said, Doc, I, you know, travel a little. I can't keep getting back in here. So he said, all right, we're going to do we're going to do virtual visits. I'm going to call you and check. Then he gave me one of them blood pressure things that I can check wherever I am. 
It's in the car right now. I can check it. And then when I'm talking to him, I got to go on and show him. Calling me, checking on me. Uh, we became almost best friends with my doctor. I said, Doc, you check on me more than anybody. Hallelujah. <laughs> but as we've been monitoring it, and I've been learning to live stress-free, the blood pressure been coming down. And the last time he called me, he said, you all right, come see me in six months. Somebody give God a praise for me. Hallelujah. He said, come in every week, every two weeks. I said, what is going on? So when he said, come in in six months, I said, all right, I can do that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm learning to just give it to God. Didn't he say, cast all of your care upon me? It's too heavy for me. So I'm going to give it to the one that's got all power. Now this is the challenge when you give it to him. Sometimes we take it back. So I'm learning how to give it to him and leave it with him. And say, Lord, I trust you that you got it all worked out. I want to tell you today in your home, he's got it all worked out. He's got next week worked out. He's got next month worked out. He's got the rest of the year worked out. But what if this? What if this? What if he's got it all in his head? And his hand is much bigger than my little hand. Hallelujah! So I day to day to put it in his hand. Rest on your feet, if you will, all over the sanctuary. Give it over to the Lord. You know, as I've been preaching, that thing you've been thinking about, that thing that's been worrying you, that thing that's been frustrating you. You in your home, I'm going to pray for you as well. I'm touching and agreeing with you right now. Hallelujah. Your stress level is coming down. I'm prophesying to somebody. Your blood pressure is about to regulate. Sometimes the situation don't kill us. It's the effects of the situation. Listen, since COVID-19 didn't kill me, I ain't going to let stress over COVID-19 take me. Somebody shout hallelujah. If he kept me from the virus, trust me, he's going to keep me from all this stress. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You're still alive because the hand of God is on you. Some of you caught COVID-19, but he kept you alive. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Don't let this situation get the best of you. But you are an overcomer. You're the head and not the tail. You're above and not beneath. You're blessed when you come in. Blessed when you go out. Hallelujah. It's already worked out. Begin to praise him now. If you need the Holy Ghost, begin to praise him now. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Ghost can help regulate your stress level. Thank you, Lord. Some of you need a refreshing. You haven't been in his presence, haven't spoken tongues in a long time. Let the Holy Ghost fall on you right now. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
Thank you, Jesus. Father, we trust you now. We believe you now. We depend on you now. Thank you, Lord, that even in this, you've been working on our faith. You're causing us to trust you even when we can't find you, even when we can't trace you, even when we don't know what's going on. Looking to the left, but we can't find you. Looking where we know you work at, but we can't find you. Oh, God, but we trust you even when we don't see what's going on. We believe you. We thank you. We shall yet praise you in the name of Jesus. Concerned about the future of your organization when you step down? Then where will the mantle fall? A biblical and legal guide to succession planning is a must read for you. It delves into the scriptural and legal aspect of succession planning, characteristics of successors, the people, the process, church bylaws, common myths, even issues with nepotism. Where will the mantle fall? Written by Rich Mazzell and attorney Pastor Travell Travis and available at Amazon.com. 2021? Do you need help forming an LLC, applying for a copyright or trademark, revising church bylaws, crafting a secession plan, or developing a compensation package for your pastor and staff? Contact the law office of Travel Travis, a Richmond-based legal boutique focused on the needs of pastors, entrepreneurs, creatives, and our community. Let's make your vision a reality in 2021. Visit TravelTravis.com. That's T-R-A-V-E-L-L. Mm-hmm.